everyone. So today I am going to show you everything that we bought on our Alaskan cruise and our trip to Seattle. So we don't typically do a whole lot of shopping on our cruises, but this is this was a different experience. It's somewhere we'd never been before. And we were on the last sailing of the season, so we got some really, really good deals. So all of those things in, in, taking into consideration, we did just a tad bit more shopping than we normally do on a cruise and actually had a little trouble figuring out how to get all this stuff back home. Luckily, thank you Colby for bringing a giant backpack, which we were able to fit everything in because we honestly did not plan on buying as much as we did. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna show you, first off, I'm gonna show you what we bought on this ship because on the Norwegian Bliss, um, it, that ship is built for Alaska and it has an Alaskan shopping uh, store in there. So whenever we got on the ship, it said, you know, sales, end of the season, and we went in there and we got some really cool things that we found that um, I probably would not have paid full price for, but because we got them at a discount, we actually bought quite a few of them as gifts. So here we go. Okay, first up are these windbreakers. Okay, so there's two different colors. They came in gray, which is, this is the gray. You can see the embroidery on it. So it's a very lightweight windbreaker, very good quality. And it has the sleeve that holds, the, holds down on the wrist. So these are good looking jackets. They're lightweight, so they take that breeze off of you, but um, the fabric of them holds in your body warm. So these here, the gray one was normally $50, but it was 75% off, so this was $12.50. So we bought a couple of the gray ones. Jason got a gray one and Colby got a gray one. And they didn't have as many gray as they did red, so we bought quite a few of these red ones. And you can see the embroidery on the red one. And again, same quality of jacket, um, same style of windbreaker, and these were $39.99, so it's 75% off for $10. So needless to say, we came home with a big stack of these. So everybody in our immediate family got one. So Jason got one, Colby got one, Cameron got one, Ethan got one. We also bought these for our parents. And um, yeah, really good looking jacket and a really, like I said, a very good quality jacket. Would I have paid $40 for this? No way, I wouldn't have. But for $10, this was a great buy. So just something to keep in, in, in mind, if you are going to be on one of the last sailings of the season, you can rack up some good deals on the ship as well as in the ports. Okay, so also on the ship, in the shop, we found things like this. So this is a pot holder. And these are normally $6.99. Really nice little pot holder that says AK for Alaska and 1949, or I'm sorry, and 49 because it was the 49th state. So these are really nice. We bought one of these for my parents and one for Jason's parents. And they also had this hot cocoa. So this is chocolate royale hot cocoa and then it says alaska so this is just one of those l neat little i mean yeah you can buy hot cocoa anywhere but this ended up being less than two dollars so it's like okay well why not kind of thing again would i have paid eight dollars for this no way but less than two dollars sure why not it's a cute little alaska keepsake and bring some good hot cocoa and there are three packages of hot cocoa in this package. Another thing we bought on the ship is a magnet, but we will get to that later because we bought quite the magnet collection and I'll show you all those at the end. All right, so our next stop was in Juneau. Juneau was the first Alaskan stop and um, yeah, we, 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 we did a lot of shopping in Juneau. So most of what you're gonna see next came from Juneau, including the t-shirt I am wearing. So what we did in Juneau was we took the tram to the top of the mountain. Well, at the top of the mountain is a gift shop and everything in the gift shop was 50% off. So we did some shopping there. I got this shirt, which is my new favorite shirt. It is a long sleeve or three quarter sleeve. So it's still a little hot in Louisiana to wear it right now, but I absolutely love this shirt. See, it's a very, very simple 
subtle design but the quality of this shirt is fantastic so this shirt was $28 but it half off was 14 saw it loved it had to have this shirt also in that same gift shop I bought these I'm sorry these are the cutest things ever so these are really cute little slippers and see these are just around the house slippers but oh my gosh that is so soft on the inside and they say Alaska and these were typically $14 but they were half price so I got them for seven absolutely love 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 these slippers also while we were in the same shop we found hats and gloves etc that were on sale and I'm sorry but this is by far the cutest beanie hat I've ever seen in my life and it does say Alaska right there and it's got the little fur topper super cute so once I bought this this was my hat for the rest of the trip so you will see this hat in most of our videos because this hat pretty much stayed on my head the whole time it's got a really good fleece lining on the inside and then it's got the sweater material on the outside so this actually did keep my head very warm we also bought gloves okay so you see they say Alaska these were normally $18 for these gloves um, they have a hook on them where you can hook them together these are a very good quality glove also we had gloves we had hats but at the cost of these and the fact that they say Alaska and it's like why not you know this is something that you know we can bring home and we've got special hats and special gloves that came from Alaska and we can wear them through our winters here in Louisiana which only lasts a few weeks we don't get real serious winters here in Louisiana but so we got these gloves and um, like so each of the guys got a pair of these gloves super nice for nine dollars a pair I mean you just kind of can't pass this kind of things up okay we also bought some gifts for friends and this is a ceramic coaster that says Alaska and it's got the cork bottom so it will protect your tabletop super cool like this this was normally a seven dollar coaster we also bought Jason likes to collect the uh, decal stickers from different ports we go to so he's got some from Ron John and things like that around the Caribbean so we got him a totem pole decal for his truck this was three dollars and 25 cents okay so we like to buy christmas ornaments from the different ports we go to as well so we found this really cool ornament that is metal see like that and it says ak 49 so alaska 49 state it's dual sided and this was 6.95 and then we also found i'm not sure if this will show up in the box so i'm gonna take it out of the box this is glass so you can see this is glass it's in a protective box and it's got a loop on it so this is also going to be used as a Christmas ornament see it that's just a really pretty glass and it's basically stamped into the glass so this was five dollars so we got two really cool ornaments for our Christmas tree one that's very specific to um, a ride that we did and then one that's just from Alaska so we like adding those personal touches from our travels to our Christmas tree we also bought a few items for our kitchen. So we bought this spoon rest from Alaska. It's got a beautiful bear on it. And this was $4.95. And we got a couple of coffee mugs. So this one right here just says Bear Crossing. Caution, Bear Crossing, Juneau, Alaska. And we didn't see any bears in Juneau, but we got a mug anyway that says Bear Crossing. And then Colby, this is a metal mug, and it's got totem symbols on it on both sides. So this mug was $5. This mug, I think, was about $8. Again, 50% off. We got some really good deals. We also like pins. Um, I'm sure you've seen my Disney backpack that is completely covered in pins. We like to collect pins. So we got this pin here. This is a pin of the tram. So this is the Mount Roberts tram. And this pin was $4. So, you know, we just got a lot of little things that, things that we don't typically get, but we got quite a bit on this trip. You saw that I got my fuzzy slippers. I have a thing for socks. Like I collect socks, weird socks. And I wear them around the house. But anyway, I got these that have bears on them. 
These were a little bit more expensive. These are bamboo socks. They are crazy soft. So these were typically $11 socks, again, 50% off, but these are really a good quality sock here. And then we went in another shop that had all these fun printed socks. So we've got some puffins and we've got the wolf with the northern lights on it. And these were $3.99 a piece, again, at 50% off. So we got some really cool socks. And then we hit the discounted t-shirt shop. Yeah. Okay, so I will try, if they have price tags on them, tell you what they were. But whenever we went in this shop, because we were the last cruise of the season, all of the kids' shirts were $3 and all the adult shirts were $5. So, needless to say, everybody in our family is getting a t-shirt from Alaska. Because, why not? <laughs> okay, so first off is this one, the one I am wearing. $5. You know? Can't pass that up. For the kids, really cute. This is actually a glow in the dark. This is Alaska, The Last Frontier. This is typically an $8 or $7.95 t-shirt. And we got two of those for our sweet little girls. Another kid's shirt here for uh, Cameron and Colby's cousins. And this is again, all the kid shirts were glow in the dark, which I thought was cool, pretty cool. And it says, take a walk on the wild side of Alaska. And then it's got all of the different tracks of the animals. So pretty cool t-shirts. For those of you who know all about spirit jerseys, they had Alaska spirit jerseys. Tie-dye spirit jerseys. I thought this was one of the coolest things. So it's got Alaska on the front, completely tie-dyed, five dollars is what i paid for this but this is normally a 29.95 t-shirt so you know spirit jerseys are pricey i mean the spirit jerseys at disney i think were on like 70 bucks so this is a good quality uh shirt really cute spirit jersey love the back of this and this is for emily all right then we just bought a whole bunch of just really cool alaska t-shirts this one is for jason very simple subtle t-shirt got this one for ethan And this shirt's normally $15.95. And then my dad is a, is a bigger guy. He needs a 2X. So I did not get him one of the windbreakers on the ship. So I got him this shirt here. He likes the simple shirts. And this shirt is was normally $21.95. And it's a 2X. And that is a super nice, good quality t-shirt too. Okay, almost done with the t-shirts, promise, but we just couldn't pass up those deals. Now, the next ones I'm going to show you came from Red Dog Saloon. Didn't get a price break on these, but they're super cool shirts. So, this one is Jason's from Red Dog. This is the front and the back. And you know what? You just cannot go to the home of the duck park and not get a Red Dog Saloon t-shirt. Now, we were a little disappointed that it doesn't say anything about duck fart on there. And they did have a duck fart t-shirt, but it was kind of cheesy. It just like had a duck pointing at a board that had the ingredients of the shot. So, this is a better shirt for Jason. Really cool shirt. Their t-shirts run around $25. Like I said, no discounts there, but super cool shirt for a super cool memory. Also picked this one up for a friend. This is the back of the shirt and the front of the shirt. And it says, follow, follow my lead to the Red Dog Saloon. Red Dog Saloon, ate like an Alaskan, drank like an Alaskan. And then Jason has schooled one of our local bartenders on how to make the duck fart. So she asked him to pick her up a t-shirt from Red Dog. So this is a girl style shirt. This is a really, really cute shirt. I kind of regret I didn't get one for myself, but this one's for Bella. And then, and then also we had to get the cherry. So the cherry is the secret of pouring the duck fart, okay? So it says Red Dog Saloon. So basically you take this cherry and you pour the liquor over the cherry instead of straight into the glass. And that's what allows you to layer that shot without the alcohols mixing. So in case you don't know, a duck fart is a layer of Kahlua, a layer of Bailey, and then a layer of Crown Royal. And if it's not poured correctly, it's going to mix. But you want them to have that layer and this little cherry helps do that. I think this cherry was about $4. Okay, also at Red Dog Saloon, we bought our friend this. This is a pocket flask. So it says Red Dog Saloon. Let's see, hold on. 
says Red Dog Saloon on it. And there's enough in here. You can put one shot and put it on your keychain. I don't know if anybody would ever actually use one of these things, but I think it's hilarious. And uh, let's see, I have no idea how much it cost. I think this is about five or six dollars, but it's just one of those cute little novelty items. Okay, while we're talking about doing shots, of course we had to buy some shot glasses. So this is the shot glass from the Red Dog Saloon. Gotta have that. And then on the ship in that same shop, we were a, a we got these shot glasses. So these say Alaska's I did a rod. I think I'm saying that right. I did a rod uh, spanning 1,500 miles in Juneau, Alaska. So these are these were from the ship, but uh, still really cool shot glasses. So we got one for our house and one for Emily because she likes to collect shot glasses as well. Those of y'all that know me know that I have a sweet tooth and my nose will carry me into candy shops and we went into the Alaskan Fudge Company. And in the Alaskan Fudge Company, you can buy all kinds of different fudge. Oh my God, if you could just smell this. Okay, so you can tell we've eaten some of it, but these are half pound blocks of fudge. So the box set was I think 25 or $26 and then you got to pick three different types of fudge. So we've got cookies and cream, regular fudge, and then maple pecan. Let me tell you, if you were ever in Juneau, Alaska, go in the Alaskan Fudge Company and treat yourself to some fudge. It's delicious. So I've had this for going on a week and a half now and I just cut off a little piece every now and then and eat it. It's wrapped up in like saran wrap so it stays fresh and then it's in the box so that helps it stay fresh too. It got home completely safe because of the packaging. They'll also ship these but I'm a huge sweets person. This was a real treat for me. Okay, we also bought a bunch of these candy bars. This is the only one that's still alive but you can see the packaging right here. So this is the Alaska Frontier Chocolates. Um, we I think we ended up buying about six or seven of these bars. Regular price on these bars is $3 a bar um, because it was end of the season. We did find them for 99 cents some places and $1.50 other places. This one right here is sea salt dark chocolate. They also had milk chocolate. They had toffee. They had all kinds of different varieties. So we kind of bought one of each and we just ate them while we were on the ship and the boys absolutely love these. And Cameron is a dark Dark chocolate person and he said this was some of the best dark chocolate he's ever had so um, just really simple little candy bars they had them in pretty much every gift shop in Alaska so this is something that again if you like that candy something to think about picking up something else that we bought sweet wise which I obviously don't have to bring home because we ate them is if you're in Skagway get a doughboy it's basically this giant piece of fried bread covered in cinnamon and sugar so similar to us to a uh, a flat beignet kind of the same taste and consistency but literally as big as my head and then same thing in Victoria they had almost the same thing but it's called a beaver tail very good and then the beaver tails you can get varieties of i got one that had nutella on it really really good okay our last stop of the trip was victoria british columbia and we were only in there for a few hours but we did get off the ship because we had to go to canada and here's a couple things we bought so we got cameron this shirt he just wanted a very simple shirt and these, um, we went in a store and the more you bought, the cheaper they got. So me and April and her mom all kind of wanted some shirts. So they ended up only being $5 a piece. But I think it'd be like eight if you just bought just one shirt. And then Colby wanted a really nice hoodie. He looked in all the different ports for a hoodie, didn't find one he liked. So he did get one in Victoria and he got this one here. This is a really nice hoodie. And I think this was about 25 or $30, but it's a really good quality warm hoodie. It actually has a nice fleece lining to it. So he said it's really, really warm. And the best shirt. I had no intention of buying any more t-shirts in Canada, but found this one for Jason. Bigfoot stole my beer. I think this, yeah, Bigfoot stole my beer. Had to buy this one. This one was $25 too, but again, it's just one of those had to have it kind of things. Okay, not from our Alaskan cruise, but pre-Alaska in Seattle, we did a brewery tour at Pike Brew, at The Pike Brewery. 
So we got these two pint glasses for completing the brewery tour. So it was actually a really, really cool event. So I think it was about $10 per person and it came with, uh, it was a full like hour and a half brewery tour, very informative. It came with four different tastings of um, their special brews and then you get a pint glass to go along with it. So a really good value too. And even me as a non-beer drinker really enjoyed that. And the boys learned how to brew beer. So they got an educational experience out of that as well. Okay, one thing that I got that I really, really love are these earrings. Let's see if you can zoom in on the earrings, okay? I bought these in Juno. They are whale tails. And we saw so many whales in Juno, I thought it was completely appropriate. These were about $20, but because we were there end of the season, I did get a discount on them, but I would have paid the $20 for them. They're super cool earrings, and I ended up wearing them the entire trip. Love them. So let's talk magnets. I may have gone just a little overboard buying magnets for this cruise, but you know, it's kind of our thing. All right, so let's start up in Seattle. So I bought this one and this one at the Pike Market. This one was about $7. This one was three. Love both of these. We got this one at the Pike Brewery, and it is a bottle cap opener. That one was about five. And this one is from Sweet Sue, who bought me this one because we were not sure if we were going to make it to Seattle. So thank you, Sue, for that one. We got our ship magnet, so this is the Bliss. And I like it because it is like a 3D rendering of the ship. This one was $13.99. And then from Juno, we got one from the Red Dog Saloon. That one was about five or six dollars. And then one from the Tram. That one was about four dollars. We've got one from Glacier Bay. I actually bought it in Skagway but I didn't think that I would have any other opportunity to get one from there. And then catch a can. I wanted a nighttime Victoria magnet because we were there at night. Skagway. And then this Victoria magnet I actually bought on the ship. It just says Victoria, British Columbia. Because I wasn't sure if I'd be able to find one. And then I love this one. This one just says Alaska, the last frontier, and it looks like the license plates. Okay, and last but not least are these license plates. So I got this one in Alaska. I actually bought it, this one in Juneau. And so it looks like a collection of Alaskan license plates and they are in the shape of a bear. This was $8.99. And then when we were in Canada, we found pretty much the same thing the shape of Canada, uh, I mean shape of a bear for Canada and this one was $7.99. So we love these. We've got a, a room with all of our collectibles so this is going on the wall in there. So I hope you liked this video. We did a lot of shopping on this Alaskan cruise, way more than we have done in a very long time on a vacation. I tried to include the prices on everything. Hope you learned something from this. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe for more videos to come. And until next time, happy cruising. Bye.